Welcome to Transaction Trending, the Electronic Transactions Association's podcast exploring the cutting edge of payments and fintech. I'm your host, John Losh, Director of Membership and Education here at the ETA. Today, we're going to dive into how organizations are investing in the professional development of their staff within the payments industry. As payment methods and technology continues to evolve, professional de development has become even more important. Today, we're going to focus on ETA Certified Payments Professional, or the ETA CPP, and its impact on payments teams. ETA created the CPP to set the standard professional performance and serve as a symbol of excellence in the payments industry. Joining us to discuss the ETA CPP is Harrison Lovall, Manager of Payment Service Sales with Adobe. Harrison earned his ETA CPP in 2023, and now the entire payment service team as Adobe has achieved their ETA CPP. By adding these six letters to their name, their team has joined the ranks of the best in the payments industry. Harrison, welcome to Transaction Trending. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. So before we dive in, I just wanted to take a moment just to thank you, not only for your involvement in the ETA CPP, but also to congratulate the entire team on, team on achieving this significant milestone. Oh, absolutely. I'm very proud of every one of them for passing also on the first time. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. So why don't we start at kind of the top and set the landscape a little bit? You know, not everyone in the payments industry necessarily associates Adobe with payments. Can you talk a little bit about the team and kind of where you guys fit into the industry? Yeah. So the Adobe Payment Services or Payment Services for Adobe Commerce and Magento Open Source team uh, is, is exactly that. We've got a, uh, module that Adobe built, uh, in partnership with, with PayPal, uh, to launch PayPal's, uh, complete payments platform. And, uh, with this payment services offering, it's designed to essentially make payments a lot easier to process and, uh, reconcile and, uh, uh, work through reporting challenges within the Magento open source or the Adobe Commerce platform, which I know many of you work with uh, through other types of integrations. That's really helpful. So you were the first on the team to get certified. Tell us a little bit about that process. How did you learn about the CPP? What motivated you to get certified? Yeah, so uh, this this uh, motivation to get certified actually uh, came to me when I was first working uh, in U.S. bank payments or Elevon. Uh, I really wanted to uh, get a holistic view of what the industry uh, saw as the uh, gold standard for knowledge. And I realized that I was missing some things. And uh, the ETA CPP uh, the learning process helped me understand uh, any, any areas that I may have been missing that I wasn't getting in my normal day-to-day -day conversations with merchants. And uh, I, I wanted to um, bring that to my Adobe experience with my recertification in 2023. Uh, and uh, eventually, um, convince the rest of the team to go for it as well. Uh, I, th I think with, with the ETA CPP and how the rest of the team went for it, I didn't make it a team requirement. I um, shared with them how it really transformed my understanding of the industry. And given the complexity of our field, I really saw a immense value in gaining that holistic view of how our business overall can operate. Uh, with us primarily working in e-com, uh, we, we are only seeing one aspect of the payments world, but I was seeing more of a trend among our merchants to uh, go for like an omni-commerce type of experience. And uh, if, if we were just working in, in e-com, we may not have that basis for understanding what an omni-commerce uh, business might, might require. So I shared this pr perspective with the team, you know, how, highlighting how the certification could enhance our interactions with merchants and improve their overall like, onboarding experience, uh, whether with us or even another partner. 
uh, you know, payment services may not be the best fit for everyone, but uh, we want our merchants to have confidence that, that we're going to tell them the right thing up front. And with the ETA CPP, uh, that also, um, that also uh, communicates to test takers that you need to do what's right for the customer. And that's what we strive to do in our day-to-day -day interactions. Uh, you know, it was an investment in our program's future, kind of going through this whole process. And I'm thrilled that the team saw the value and chose to pursue it as well. That's incredible. So I want to touch a little bit on what you mentioned there towards the end of kind of, you know, making sure that you're doing your best when you're serving, serving your merchants, you're serving your end users. How, have, as this transition has gone on, as everyone has gotten certified, how has the whole team earning the ETA sort of CPP enhanced the team's ability to serve those clients and those interactions with helping the merchants? Yeah. So with, with how notoriously like complex our industry is, I don't expect our merchants to understand the intricate details of what goes through a transaction life cycle, like we really should. Uh, the ETA CPP really equipped my team uh, with the knowledge to distill that complex information into an easy to understand format for them. Um, this ability to simplify the complex not only boosts our, cre our credibility, but also significantly improves merchant satisfaction when they also understand what a sales rep may be talking about for something that's usually very complex. Um, you know, when merchants have a trusted payments advisor who can clearly explain in clear details uh, what a merchant wants to uh, do and to why or why it can't happen in a certain way, uh, we've really found that it makes a world of difference. And with my team having the ETA CPP, the level of confidence that they have on calls is, um, is astounding. The, the the differences in being able to speak beyond their normal e-commerce world has been great. Yeah. Do you think it's also made an impact on the external view of the team? Like, has it enhanced the credibility with your merchants and your vendors as well? Yeah, absolutely. So being able to um, speak to the details of the business, I think, um, gives us a certain level of respect in the industry uh, in, in being able to um, accurately explain in industry terms what may be going on and what a merchant is looking to do. Um, and being able to speak, um, again, with merchants in that simplified way where a merchant can understand the complex, I, th I think has been um, really transformational for us. Yeah. Now, are there any specific examples of, as you've seen the shift that happened about how the ETA CPP has benefited the team's work? There, no, no specific examples. It's more of the uh, confidence level of, of the team and uh, the, the time to live for our merchants has been improved as well. So they're transacting a lot faster uh, th through the integration process, which has been great uh, because I think my team has also uh, come to understand um, that a merchant may not know what they don't know. So we need to uh, sort of guide them through the process to make sure that we're covering all bases of their transaction life cycle to make sure that they have a great onboarding experience. Um, again, whether it's with us or another partner, obviously we want them on payment services, but um, we, we fully understand that um, there are some things that merchants may need that um, we may not yet be able to service. And um, if, if we're able to advise them on the best path for their business, that's, um, that's my ultimate goal. Yeah. Well, it's incredible even just to hear that it's increased the amount of time that it's taken them to help get the merchants and the end users up and running. I mean, that can make a really significant impact when it comes to, you know, helping them and helping their business grow. Absolutely. They're taking advantage of more of the buy now, pay later options, all of the other different payment methods available to them. 
uh, our ultimate goal is for them to really feel comfortable with whatever solution they go with. That's amazing. So how, how, you know, you encourage the team to get certified. How did that fit in the overall strategy for their professional development and kind of enhancing the team's credibility? Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I've got a, I've got a, uh, a team of you know, four, four different sales reps, four different personalities. Uh, and for each of them, they're, they're all very motivated to, to grow. Um, they're, they're not comfortable with status quo. They really wanted to uh, understand how they can um, do really well in the role that they're in. And the ETA CBP was a natural choice for them because they were only getting part of the story uh, in their day to day, but uh, having more of a well-rounded knowledge of uh, other various aspects of the industry, whether it's gift cards, whether it's you know transacting um, uh, in person, um, they needed to have that full picture to uh, have a better experience as a sales rep and to also give their merchants a better overall experience. So I I, I think for all of them, they're um, their uh, production has uh, seen an increase in value. Um, merchants are happier. Sales reps are happier because they, they're they making sure that they're covering all bases uh, with with merchants before, um, before they go live too. Yeah. So kind of bringing our conversation to a close here, thinking to what advice you might have for others. If there are other leaders in the industry that are trying to encourage their teams to do the same, what advice would you give to them or kind of what did you learn throughout this process that you'd recommend for others? Yeah, I really have to lead by example too. Um, being a student of your uh, your your field and realizing that there's still a lot that that you may not know about the business. I mean, it's it's ever changing. It's um, it's uh, not static at all. So staying on top of the latest happening in the in the industry, the trends and such, you're you're eventually going to hear about it from merchants. But if you can speak to those trends and make sure that you can see five steps ahead of where the merchant may potentially be going, um, you're you're going to be seen as a uh, much better advisor rather than just a salesperson in an industry that has typically had a um, unfortunately bad rap. Um, so being a student of the game is, is key in your satisfaction as well as your sales rep satisfaction and being dynamic and, in, and in, in realizing that um, what, you know, 15 years ago is not at all how payments is processed today. No more knuckle busters. <laughs> Well, Harrison, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate not only your own dedication to the ETA CPP, but also for showing that leadership and encouraging your whole team to get involved as well. Yeah, thank you so much. I love what the ETA CPP is 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 doing for the industry, and uh, I, I look forward to more resources being available for others in the industry as well. Well. That brings us to an end of today's episode of Transaction Trending. We'd like to thank our guest, Harrison Lovell, Manager of Payment Services Sales with Adobe, for sharing more about his team's journey with ETA CPP. Now that electronic payments are ubiquitous across society, it's increasingly important to invest in our workforce and continue to serving businesses and our consumers. The ETA CPP represents significant milestones in an individual's payments journey, and we're honored to continue supporting the professional development of our industry. For those looking to learn more about the ETA CPP and other educational resources like the ETA Payments 101 and 201 courses, visit us online at electran.org. I'm John Losh, and until next time, keep innovating and keep investing in your payments journey.